20 companies reporting this week, and a lot of them are breaking out to new five-year highs. So I picked out five of the hottest stocks this week. Some are pandemic plays, some are in the hot semiconductors, but others are in retail. Yes, there's some retailers even busting out to five-year highs. What are they? Let's dive right in and find out. So the first one out of the gate is the semiconductor, Qualcomm, QCOM is the ticker. And as you can see, 2020 was finally the reward for those investors who stayed invested throughout this whole five-year period. Yes, they were meeting or beating every quarter during this time, which is very impressive. This is a great track record. But finally, the shares have busted out. They're at the new five-year highs. They're trading around 21 times forward earnings. That's not too bad with a peg of 1.1. So just slightly over the value peg that you look for. So they've got the growth and they're decently attractively valued, as I said. So this is definitely one that everybody's going to be watching this week. Then we're going to switch over to one of the hot financials, PayPal. It's been hot for years and years now, only has that one miss there in 2020. So it's got a great earning surprise track record, shares back up to yet another new high here. Um, not cheap, though, as you might expect, trading at 51 times. So a lot of these, you know, uh, popular financial stocks are really getting up there in the PEs, but everybody just loves PayPal and loves what they're doing right now. So this is definitely one to watch for any kind of guidance about what's gonna be happening here in 2021. Then we're gonna switch over to the retail side, luxury retail and beauty with Estee Lauder, ticker EL. It's only got that one miss during the pandemic and a lot of that was because of China and the China shutdowns. But now China has reopened and everybody's diving back in onto the beauty side. And you can see that big beat in the last quarter right here um, in November there. And so shares took off after that. Now they have pulled back here a little bit in 2021, but the... Uh, Situation is still good. We do have the shutdowns in Europe, however, so unclear how that's going to be impacting. But luxury retail as a whole has been very hot here on the global reopening after the spring of 2020 shutdowns. So um, Estee Lauder is definitely one of the big time beauty slash luxury retailers. Everybody's going to keep on uh, the lookout for this week. Then we're gonna have Deckers. This is the other hot retailer this week. And as you can see, it's maybe even a better chart than Estee Lauder. Just that one miss all the way back in 2017. But Deckers is the UGG brand, and that is still their huge major brand. But they also have Hoka 1-1, which has been red hot for several quarters now. You see these big beats being put in here, um, three in a row here as that brand has really taken off. And anytime you have a recession, usually footwear does really well on the reopening. It's kind of a cheaper way to update your wardrobe. And so Decker's, um, again, was hitting that five-year high, it's pulled back just a little bit. It's not that cheap at 26 times, but again, versus some of the valuations on these other ones, Estee Lauder's at 45 times. Decker's looks positively cheap compared to some of these other high name or high valuation growth stocks. Then we're going to wrap it up with one with the sky high valuation, but not many people care. Peloton, P-T-O-N, and this is a pandemic play. See those two huge beats in a row as the bike is back ordered for months. I don't even know when you can get one, but the thing to watch really with Peloton is their app. They're really promoting it on TV, even I've noticed, and a lot of people downloading the app, even if they don't have the bike, to just basically do other workouts in the privacy of their home. And with what's happening in both the US and Europe with the coronavirus here in the winter and maybe in the spring, we'll see 
that those kinds of workout apps could prove to be quite popular here, even if you can't get your hands on one of the bikes. But the shares pulling back just a little bit on some, uh, you know, worries about the reopen. But we're going to find out more from the company what they're thinking 2021 is going to look like. Again, these shares are not cheap, not at all. Nobody acts like they are. It's trading at 322 times earnings now. But this is still a hot product. And, um, you know, I know a lot of people who still want to get one. So we'll, everybody's going to be watching this one as one of the pandemic plays this week. So as you can see, there's just a lot of hot stocks reporting this week. We're getting a lot of the big caps and the big caps are still driving the overall market. And a lot of these names have been big pandemic winners, even on the retail side. So the true winners are rising to the top of the heap. So you don't want to miss a single episode of the Earnings All-Stars because I'm bringing you all of these types of hot stocks and the hidden ones that you might not be thinking of all during earnings season. And we're going to get some of the mid caps and small caps coming soon. And so I'm going to have to dive deep into those charts to get you all the best earnings charts there. So be sure to subscribe at sax.com slash YouTube to get all of our earnings all-stars videos because there's plenty more all-stars yet to come.